welcome gamers to Halo Clans for today's video. Today's video is an interview with VA Sanguinius, the leader of the Blood Angels. So let's get right into this. How many people do you currently have in your clan? Last documented was around 60, maybe a little bit under. Um, we are not a large force. This last update was about two months ago. And I know we have dwindled since then by a lot. So uh, I'm going to chop that in half and then chop that in half and say we have about 17 people. Yeah, let's go with that. As of right now on MCC. But on 360, I'm going to actually last document it around 33 something people. So my clan's dying slowly. Now, you're both a military and competitive clan, correct? Yes, sir. I, I've noticed that you're mainly competitive because you guys don't upload raids and that kind of stuff. Would uh, you consider uploading raids in the future to kind of try to rebuild the community a little bit because it's more of a hype type situation at the present moment well right now on our current clans media our actual clans media we do tv2s and a bunch of other small stuff because it's just something that can quickly be edited and thrown out there to give people something to keep our media active but we have not decided to scrap the entire idea of not doing raids um we plan on bringing uh our chief librarian plans on, or head media director plans on bringing a more cinematic feel to the things we do in on in on our media. And with raids, you don't see very many people sticking around and watch like an hour long raid or whatnot. So we're going to make raids more interesting for people to watch through our media, but adding a cinematic point of view. So we're not scrapping out raids just. We haven't. He hasn't gotten around to actually uploading a raid yet because he has a list of priorities that he has to get out of the way first with videos. And we plan on uploading our clan recruitment video before we upload anything else because it just looks better that way. Kind of going off that, what has uh, been your guys' toughest raid so far? Uh, in a way, I want to say uh, against ourselves, but then that would sound sketchy and <laughs> um, pretty ugly. So... I'm going to have to say, recently, our most toughest raid has been against um, Exodus, Shaky Divine's clan, seeing how we stayed up for about seven hours to do this raid, and the uh, last time we've ever been pushed that hard was in Halo 4, and that was about a year and a couple months ago, so we were pretty unprepared, and things didn't go the way I wanted them to. We did eventually wind up taking a loss, but yeah, they're pretty good, so... They would have to be a pretty tough clan, but the toughest, I I don't, I, I can't remember or actually call a direct clan to say that they're our toughest clan other than ourselves. Being a war, Warhammer-based clan, how does structuring work with inside the clan? It's, it's hard, it's really hard. Like, I don't know how King Swells does it and his Imperium or whatnot, uh, but... As we try to, seeing how Warhammer is a completely different game, incorporate things from Warhammer into Halo, it's difficult at times because we meet struggles here and there, seeing how they're not the same games. But the clan structure, being a Warhammer, it's uh, it's hard, but it's stable. It's We run off the traditional style structuring, where there's the leader, then co-leader, and then the rest are just clan members, you know? So, yeah, it's... The structuring, as for our ranks and titles, if that's what you're getting at, then yeah, it's pretty stable. Because if you, I'm pretty sure you went to our clan's website and seen that uh, we don't have ranks or whatnot. It even states in the clan website. Now, you guys moved back from MCC and Halo 4 back all the way to Reach, right? Yes, sir. Would you consider moving to the next-gen consoles in the future with Halo 5 and uh, that kind of stuff coming out? Well, two nights ago, I sent a message to our friends saying that we are... I'm going back to Halo, MCC, and Xbox One to re-establish uh, the clan on the Xbox One um, because we're. it seems like we're reminiscing in the past on Halo uh, 4 and Reach on 360. So I decided that I'm pretty bored here, so let me go back to the MCC and Xbox One and try and like dig into the actual console and games and try and establish ourselves on next gen because we need to adapt to the change if we are to succeed 
because it kind of goes against our motto to surpass and overcome if we're staying back on games that we feel we're most comfortable with and it, we're, we're sticking with it to the day that it dies and stuff like that now it kind of goes against our motto so we do plan on moving to next gen console and games not just halo what do you think has been holding the community back and what do you think will force it forward holding the community back i do believe it's something that in my opinion can never be changed uh, which is it's judgmental ways the community in my opinion is extremely judgmental they're extremely biased as well but and what's holding the community back is the not like the the communication not willing to communicate with each other like back in the day uh when i was introduced in the clans i was raised by the three united clans uh, which is what i call them the united nations republic the United Union Federation and the United Halo Republic. And things were extremely political, but still extremely active at the same time. Uh, they could do all the fighting on that battlefield, but at the same time when, it time, when it was time to actually sit down and talk amongst each other, they could do that extremely well. Points were being made, like, it, whenever there's an argument, it was only combated with another valid point to keep the argument going for the better of the cause or situation at the time. And the community doesn't have that anymore. It's either we don't like you, so we're going to do things this way, and we have them with followers, so we're going to get people to agree with us whether or not you like it or not, so just follow along with what we're saying, or we're not going to interact with you at all. And that's kind of how the community's dying, in my opinion, because if you're not going to communicate, how can you make peace with your enemies if you don't want to talk to them? By having peace, and I understand that peace can, like, it's the ultimate weapon against the community. You don't necessarily have to be peaceful against your enemy, but you can be civil. So that's, in my opinion, holding the community back, the communication. As for things that will accelerate the community's growth, not conquering smaller clans, allowing smaller clans, younger people in the community to come and uprise, regardless of how we feel, our, our, our personal opinions about their community, or not community, but clans, whether it's, whether we feel that it's bad or not going to make it or whatnot, conquering those clans or not giving them that push forward to tell them that if they keep at it, they can eventually become something great in the community. In this really harsh community, you can become something great if you stick through your plans and goals. You can achieve greatness in this community and not saying, oh, well, you're not going to get anywhere. The best thing you can do is join my clan because that keeps the community small and keeps it from growing which means that it can't get anywhere if it can't grow. So, yeah, the community does need more action. And that's something that BA has done multiple times, or tried to do in the community multiple times, and it's gotten us the, probably one of the worst images in the community. Um, not sure, uh, even though that's maybe going off topic from the original interview, but... Um, We've declared one of the community multiple times. We we tried to play the role as the bad guy to give the community a common enemy to fight against, so we can all be active. We even tried getting the community to fight against each other, as we did in the G, as we attempted to do in the GT, uh, GCA back on Halo 4. So we do feel the community needs to not sit back on their golden thrones and try and act all high and mighty and actually deploy their forces appropriately to combat clans. Your clan is in like an alliance with like 12 other clans. Uh, do you guys have any outstanding allies or enemies that you would like to kind of talk about? Allies. Um, we do have allies. A lot of these allies have not been on our website. A lot of these allies aren't allies anymore. They have been taken uh they should be taken off because we don't interact with those clans anymore. But the ones that we do interact with, they're great allies. Whenever we need their help, we get along fine. They come, we support them, they support us. Um, I'm actually in debt to a couple of them because we <laughs> we kind of called them their clan one too many times, so we feel obligated to return the favor whenever they need it, yet they haven't called upon it yet or pulled that favor. They probably don't even know that I feel this way towards them, but it's, yeah. Uh, we, we have very good allies. And as for enemies, we don't really, we have enemies, like everybody is an enemy against BA, but our biggest enemy that I deliberately would like to, or wouldn't like, but at the same time I'm comfortable with being enemies with, 
it would be the Imperium, which is another Warhammer based clan, the second Warhammer based clan in this community other than ourselves. We have so many disagreements and it, we don't see eye to eye, seeing how a long time ago there was an agreement between their leader and me that there would be no Blood Angels clan within there. There would be no Blood Angels chapter within their clan. And yet their leader is going back against our, uh, his word and created a Blood Angels chapter. So it kind of put us at a disagreement, not because he simply just broke his word, but it seems like a slap in the face that he broke his word. And the only reason is because he wanted to, he said, and ran off block comms and all that. So we just feel that, okay, like what they're just being the way that they are so we'll do whatever we must to get our point across even if it means being enemies with a clan that we should truly be allies with so we do see the imperium as a not a threat or a hostile but we do see them as enemies it could be resolved in the future and we could potentially be allies again but i don't see it happening anytime soon Next question, I asked you this in the Facebook group. I can remove this question if it hits a nerve or something. Um, the uh, Blood Angels have been around since 2012 and kind of had a good upbringing at the start, but recently it has kind of fallen and cut down, and then it's finally starting back up again. Um, care to elaborate on why it had this rough patch? As I teach every Blood Angel that joins my clan about our past, because we feel that every Blood Angel should know about our past, seeing how we come from an extremely corrupt and dark past. And it is a very uh, sensitive subject to a lot of Blood Angels, especially um, veteran Blood Angels who have been with us through this time. We have gone through the darkest of times, seeing how we, at a point in time, Network manipulation was a thing with our past. It's still currently a thing. We still fight to better our image from it, but we have not fully scrapped that. Um, we, ha we haven't fully scrapped network manipulation from our arsenal entirely. Like recently, we had to network manipulate a couple people. I network manipulate myself now. It's no secret. Community, a lot of people in the community know this. I network manipulate myself now. I can remove people from xbox live for a certain amount of time but i only do it for the safety of my members it recently a clan leader in the community pulled um the party's ip and or everybody in the party's ip which was my clan members were a majority of the party god knows what he wanted to do with them i just felt threatened by it because for no reason at all should you pull an ip unless you plan on doing something dark with it in my eyes so i told him either scrap the ips or never do that again around me, or I will continue to hit you offline till you agree with my demands. So he disagreed, and I did have to throw him offline a couple of times for him to finally compromise with me and make an agreement. And that person has become a very, very great ally of ours since then. He hasn't. I haven't heard him say that he was going to network manipulate. I haven't heard him say that he was going to do this or that anymore. But that's going off topic. Um point is we network manipulation was a big thing in our past and it got us kicked out of the halo fort not really kicked but kicked out of the central areas of the community seeing how we see each community as a planet and each planet has its central areas and its outskirts and ba was in the central areas of halo 4 where a majority of the clans were a majority of activity was and we were eventually pushed to the outskirts because of network manipulation and not seeing eye to eye with a lot of people in the community. But we asked for forgiveness and what I thought would never happen happened and the community forgave us. A, a bunch of people in the community started to forgive us uh, except for our the great, like our great enemies in the community, like extremely hostile, would never be able to like patch the past enemies. And that was only like one or two enemies. Actually, if I would think about it, one enemy and that was the LOS. But Everybody else in the Halo 4 community forgave us, so I gave them my word that they would only see pro uh, positive improvements and changes from BA. And so far, I don't think we felt their, or I don't think I went back against that word. I don't think we felt them, even though at times I see myself holding my clan back because me as the leader, not I, I put myself through tests to see if I'm physically, not physically, Mental. but emotionally and mentally capable of leading my chapter still because 
each member in my clan has told when they're when they join that they didn't join a, just a militarized organization. They joined a family. We're gonna treat you like family, but regardless of what happens, just know that I will always love you as a brother of mine. Seeing how you join my clan, you follow me for a reason, and that feels great as a leader, having someone wanting to join your clan and follow you. So, it I set my clan back. I'm the biggest threat against my clan. I'm the biggest enemy against my clan. Seeing how at times I feel that if someone in the community makes the smallest remark about my clan in a negative way, I take that to heart. I may not show it. I may not show it as much as I used to, but I take that to heart a lot. And I honestly go and sit on a map by myself and just think of how I can better this person's image for us, how I can do better for my clan in the community because these are people these are kids that honestly only want to interact with the other with other clans in the community by being in a military and they don't deserve the past that I have given their future so it's it, it hurts me in the way to see that my members suffer because of my mistakes and with that it makes it, I have to I I feel that I'm incapable of leading my clan when they tell me otherwise, but still, it's just a mental thing, you know. It kind of hurts because you actually care for the people who join your clan that follow you. So that's what's setting us back, and that's what always has set us back. The no clan has ever been our greatest enemy or a threat other than ourselves. We've gone through rebellions that have almost wiped us out. We, we our greatest enemy has always been ourselves, and we constantly fight against that. It corruption's a dark thing and a very serious topic in our clan, and we just strive to get past it. We do at times, but at times we see ourselves back at square one, and the shackles that chain us down, uh, it, it's we, it's the judgmental ways of the community. Because whether people say you should care what the community says or not, we obviously do, because we don't want another being banned from the community that happened again. We don't want another Halo 4 to repeat itself in whatever game we're in because it's, it hurt, like I said, it hurts knowing that my members can't get what they want because the past that I gave them, the past that will affect their future. So that's, uh, that's what's holding us back. Try to finish this up here. Um, is there anything that you would like to add, like a recruitment message, or you could ask me something i don't yeah not real well, as for a recruitment message just for those of you who for those who do see this subscribe to our clan channel because we have a bunch of interesting and uh, cool new ideas and designs for the community that we think a lot of people in the community would be interested in or at least hearing about but I'm pretty sure whether or not you subscribe or not, you'll it'll eventually get around to you. A lot of clans so far agree with what we have for our clan and clans in the community. We will be doing a lot of sponsoring soon. So that's pretty much it. I, I wouldn't advise you to join us at this current point in time because we are doing a switch from Halo Reach to back to the MCC. So we have to get this organized. And then on top of that, we hope to go back to Bell Prime, which is Halo 4 to us, and rebuild there as well. Because we want to run on all three games, which is Halo Reach, which is Bell or Ball to us, our home planet. Then Halo 4, Ball Prime, and Ball Secundus, which is Xbox One. So, yeah, as for questions for you, um... What, what do you think about my clan? What's your personal image on my clan? It's had its struggles, but it has great promise. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, I hear you. It, you definitely have potential to bring it back and you know get back to that 60 member count if you wanted to. Um, like you said, you're kind of doing the switch over right now, so you don't really want people to join as of the moment, but... Um, you, you definitely have the potential to become a great power again. Well, that's something that we hope to achieve in the grim darkness of the far future. So, thank you. for if That's it. And thank you for the interview. I appreciate it. It makes it feel like that we're still something in the clan community. Or I'm not just a clan leader sitting back watching all these clans that were around in our age or new clans that weren't just
fly past us. All right. Well, I think that's about it for this interview. Uh, this has been Halo Clan signing out and B.A. Sanguinius signing out. See you guys next time.